John, I'll take it. Thanks. The Associated Press demands that George Zimmerman stop the sale of his latest painting because the news agency says it directly copies an AP photo. Take a look. Here's a picture taken by photographer Rick Wilson at a 2012 news conference. Now, here's the painting Zimmerman has put up for bid. Okay, now we're going to show you the two images put together. Take a look. You be the judge. First on four, Channel 4's Tim Pulliam spoke with the photographer about Zimmerman's artwork. Tim. The AP photographer lives here in Jacksonville, and he says he is offended by Zimmerman's painting, and he wants Zimmerman to stop trying to profit from his photograph. It's this fiery red and orange painting of Angela Corey with an upper right corner jab at the special prosecutor that has this photographer upset. It's kind of sad that, um, you know, somebody would claim to be an artist, uh, produce an artwork, announce to the world that they intend to sell this piece and creatively it's not even their own. Rick Wilson has been a photographer for 25 years and says this painting is a copycat image from a photo he snapped at Corey's press conference on April 11, 2012. That day, Corey charged Zimmerman with second-degree murder in the 2012 shooting death of 17-year-old Trayvon Martin. He was acquitted. Zimmerman's past artwork has proven to be a moneymaker. His last portrait of a flag sold on eBay with a winning bid over $100,000. But this one may not get any traction. The AP issued a cease and desist letter to Zimmerman to stop the sale of this piece. Wilson and his attorney, John Phillips, says their letter will be arriving shortly. I want to bring this issue of copyright, this issue of artistic license, to the forefront. If you just put the Zimmerman painting inside of Rick's picture, it's no question it's the exact same photo. It's just he's put some red screen on it. And you can't do that. The, the U.S. Supreme Court has came out and said you can't do it. And he's going to have a hard time, you know, fighting that. Now, Angela Corey's office says that they have no comment. Reportedly, other media outlets have been trying to get in touch with Zimmerman to get a comment, but they have been unsuccessful. We are live tonight. Tim Pulliam, Channel 4, the local station. Tim, what about other cases? Do we know of any similar cases like this? Well, Joy, you may remember President Obama's hope image that circulated throughout his campaign. Well, the AP says that that image is copyrighted by them. Well, the artists of that image sued the AP for fair use of the work. The AP countersued. The two ended up settling their claims back in 2011 with the artists having to pay $1.6 million. Oh, wow. Yes, we remember that. All right, Tim Pulliam reporting live for us. Tim, thanks. Mm -hmm.